You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Saturday Night Live After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's SNL After Show. Yeah. Oh, I do. Oh, this see, song. YOLO, this one. YOLO. Yeah. What's this, this stand for again? You only live once. Right. So Yolo. YOLO. Hashtag YOLO. YOLO. But you know what? We don't only live once because this is SNL. We live all season long. No, that didn't work really well, did it? No. no. But hey, it's a new year, so it I can try new jokes. It that's works, good. right? You know what? Dare to suck. Oh, Doesn't that's matter. harsh, man. No, no. I'm not saying <laughs> that's, that's a good there. bumper sticker. Yeah. Dare to, Dare to suck. YOLO. YOLO. There you go, that works. Right? That's YOLO. a new YOLO. Yes. YOLO. Dare to suck. Dare to suck. <laughs> YOLO. That could be taken so far, but... Oh, you know no. what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even thinking but, that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back, guys, to a brand new year, brand new season, and uh, we got a few new faces on SNL. Before we jump right into it, let's uh, introduce who's on the panel with us. Keaton is back with us. Yay. Hi, you guys. I think I'm I'm back officially with SNL. I yes. missed you guys too much. Uh, Roya reeled me in. Yep, I, got me back, and it's it's great to be back here. So. Yes, it is. Danny is me. missing. He um, Danny's flight got delayed. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah allegedly. Right? I don't even know. Him anymore. Allegedly, <laughs> Danny's <him> flight. <laughs> and our special guest tonight, guys, is Jasper Cole. Hello. Howdy, everybody. Thank you. It's thanks great for, to be here. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is great. I mean, you've been on McGruber, so you have... McGruber! McGruber, <laughs> yes, I was. So you're familiar with the whole SNL yeah. vibe of being on set with those kind of... Yeah, but I was a huge fan for forever, yeah. so getting that gig was really amazing. Yeah. It was did, weird did seeing... Did you geek out? A little bit. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. we were in Albuquerque. I didn't know Lauren Mike. I didn't realize he was even producing it. I don't know how oh, stupid that really? was. Like, so Seth was there and Lauren. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. You know, it was, yeah, it was exciting. It was really fun. Um, oh, my God. I can't wait to get more. I'm going to geek out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but stay tuned, guys. We'll get into more with Jasper Cole and yeah. his experience with everything. But meanwhile. Yeah. Let, let's go right into Pierce Morgan Live, where it is where he's talking about deceiving the American people. <laughs> and uh, his first person was Governor Chris Christie. Played by Bobby Moynihan. Can I just say, what a way to start off 2014 and SNL, like the first sketch to come out of SNL in 2014. I thought this was a great sketch. Hilarious. That everybody was very strong with their characters. Mm-hmm. And I loved that um, they even let the host come in yes. in the in the first sketch. In the first one, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. And That's I, unusual, right? It I, is. I, remember, yeah. I don't think you see that, we've seen that much. When I saw it, I was like, wait a second, is this the opening? I was not sure. Right. And then Drake just killed it playing Alex Rodriguez mm-hmm. yes. and his lines of saying I'm suing steroids for being inside me <laughs> and I'm suing iPhone because of their and auto the crack. yeah yeah, um, yeah he nailed it i yeah and, and, and it reminded me like immediately when Drake was up there it was like oh my god yes that's the guy from Degrassi which I watched on Noggin when I was a kid so I, you know he's he is a seasoned actor he was an actor before he was a rapper so it was and nice it to see too. yeah that's it did show a, yeah. oh my gosh his comedic his timing is so on I was really impressed with it, for sure. I didn't expect, I didn't have high hopes for him, to be honest. When I read Drake was hosting and musical guest, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be either really bad or really bad. Those were right. my only two options. It's either a train wreck yeah, or, exactly. or just a car a accident. A car collision. Exactly. But right. it wasn't. It was, it was a, good. Yeah, he was driving that bus. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't hit anybody. And it, great. even if I if I had like because I my expectations were very similar to yours and I feel like even if I had a little bit higher expectations he still would have would have like blown like blown me out of the water because I was I just was like oh my gosh Drake like even his musical performances I thought were just were were simple they were awesome he wasn't lip syncing right. there wasn't a crazy backtrack that girl in his second one was a little odd but uh, she was really pretty <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna we don't I'm know who she is yeah. we right. don't know yeah. who she is did she come from the audience? Or I'm right. not sure. Or not. <laughs> but she did well. She did. Considering. 
you know, I my favorite character in the Pierce Morgan Live though um, was Justin Bieber. Oh my god, Kate, Kate killed it. Yeah, every nuance. I mean, every, every everything she did was hilarious. Like this. And- yeah. Oh my god, she <laughs> looked like him when she did when she wasn't smiling and her dimples weren't there because that's like how you can tell. Like, right. see Kate. Oh my gosh, it was like a dead ringer. I want to like do like a like a split screen like photo uh, comparison of the two because I don't know if I would be able to tell the difference. Right. I actually prefer her. Over <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I have In a fact, gr- maybe she should just take yeah. over for him. <laughs> yeah. I have such a crush on Kate McKinnon. Like like she is my girl crush and I adore her and I think she's like the best she's so thing. Talented. Oh, she's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And the way she delivered the lines were fabulous too and yeah, it, it's 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 like a tradition in Canada, like just egging people's homes. It was, the yeah. writing, the writing was just good for it too. Mm-hmm. And I thought my neighbor was a chicken, so I was returning his kids. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? it's, you would think that she was trying to, because it looked like she was breaking character a little bit mm-hmm. when she would smile and kind of giggle. But then you realize that's Justin Bieber oh, yeah. and how he is. Right. When he delivers. She, had, she had all of his little like mm-hmm. like like uh, what are they called when you have like the ticks? She she yeah. had the ticks down. Which, when they had Justin Bieber on the show, I'm sure she absorbed all of that. <laughs> right. He was actually pretty good, though. I know he, we're yeah. regressing, but... No, you can regress. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, he's another one that I was kind of surprised and impressed with. Just the pathway he's going right now with his yeah. own personal... Yeah, well, it's not good now. <laughs> <but> <laughs> like, yeah. 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 But, but he hey. did a good job acting-wise. Yeah. And, he was on. and it helps him help us, because we laugh. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know. Any PR is good PR, right? <laughs> exactly. So... Yeah, I'm sorry. Is that, is is that, that, is that, that you? Is that my agent? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, stop talking about J- Justin Bieber. You're going to be on the show with him. Oh uh, that's your actually, that, Keaton. That's your manager. You have an audition. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. That is never. That, that's really your ringtone. You don't have a fun, fancy one. You wow. have just the. You don't have like no. rap music. This playing? is. I am so. I'm so embarrassed right now because it's never. Because I. This is why I. I never have my ringer on. I always have it off, so I don't care what my ringer is. But I've had to have it on recently because people have been like coming and like rehearsing with me at my apartment, and so I have to have it on so I like can hear it. That makes sense. I know, but I'm so sorry. Oh, I, am I, I so, love it. Yeah. So sorry. It's okay, for when we had uh, Maz Jabrani on our show, my uh, ringtone was on loud, and uh, a notification I get is, mm-hmm. uh, you're a pirate, or a smelly pirate hooker, or whatever, from the <laughs> man. So it just yelled that, and I was wow. like, oh, twice, and the person would not stop texting me. I'm like, oh, silence. So <laughs> it's okay, we all make the mistakes. YOLO, yeah. guys. Yeah, YOLO. YOLO. Yeah. YOLO. 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 <laughs> So moving on. Well, what would you guys rate that sketch? The open, the cold open. Oh, like in like a scale, a one to ten. Grade, a letter oh. grade. Letter oh, grade. I'd give it an A. Yeah. 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 I would give it a solid A too. Yeah, I like Which it. You don't often do that. I don't. You're, I'm tough, s- you're tough. I'm very tough on SNL because. It, I yeah, I'm very tough, but I was very impressed. Yeah, yeah. I'm right there with you guys. And it, it was so funny because when I when I first was like writing my notes and I gave it a grade of an A, I was like I scratched it out because I was like, no, I, I gotta wait and see a couple more because that that might just. So be wait, like, you took yeah. notes and everything. I yes, I'm such a I bad do. Student. <laughs> You're so bad. Meanwhile, I have my laptop here. <laughs> her. She's like, my notes. I was just, just, I was just relying on her and to give me. I have another set of notes, but they're wow. I couldn't read it. Those are cue cards. This is yeah. This is when I was writing in the hotel room and I was watching it and it just was scribble. So I rewatched the episode and took better notes. Okay, if anyone's yeah. wondering, I did it. All right. <laughs> we do homework. Here. Yes. We yes. do our work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the opening monologue, um, I loved it. I thought it was a sketch within this uh, the monologue, right. which is something different. Which we don't see. Either. Yeah. Instead of him just start rapping, right? They actually did something with it, right? And we learned a little good. bit about Trey. And we saw the new cast member, yes, for the first time. Sashir, 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 Zamata. I don't. I, I just remember I was like, <laughs> when, when they had the intro, I was like, oh my gosh, they actually really did they get a black. Yeah, they yeah. found a black chick. God. Yay! Mm-hmm. Finally, finally. And she's awesome. She's great. And she's so beautiful. They should yeah. have several. They should. You know, like, I mean. <laughs> It sounds like we're it's shopping horrible. or something. No, this is so bad. I, I mean, surely there's another one they can find. Yeah. Well, they added two more writers to the show. Two black, mm-hmm. black black writers? Yes, yeah. black writers. Um, I have their name written over here. LaKendra Tukies. I'm probably really butchered that. I'm sorry. And Leslie Jones. Okay. That one. Yeah. yeah. So there are two new writers Good. add on. Uh, one of them is going to be on the show maybe randomly they might maybe next season throw her in that's what the article said Mm -hmm. could be different Mm -hmm. now but yeah so we got some new writing I think we're going to see a lot more Jay Farrell and uh, Keenan and actually good sketches with them and do we even see Jay last night Wait. We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we we did. saw him in the oh, monitor. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was, he was the dad. dad. That's right. I'm trying to. It just seemed like I didn't. I kind of missed him last night, but 
he was just very so he was quiet, but it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. He didn't do Obama. He didn't do Obama. No. But he didn't. Okay, we'll get into the yeah, next one. I'm I, like, yeah, I'm I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. that the whole opening monologue was. I mean, again, Drake. Drake up. Drake up. <laughs> but Drake up. Drake was, up. Just he shined. Right. Like, mm-hmm. But it wasn't like he still wasn't overpowering. I don't know. I thought the whole ensemble was worked so well together for that opening sketch. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my god, I'm I didn't know he another. was Jewish. He, I, I didn't, didn't know. know I didn't know so he was Jewish was, either. I knew he was Canadian. I knew he was yeah, yeah, and black. Because I know all my Canadian Ish. peeps. What? He's so nice. <laughs> he just seems like a really nice dude. I've heard really good things about him. Although I asked earlier, am I dreaming this? Didn't he get in a fight with Chris Brown in okay, a bar? Okay, well, we all know. Chris, Chris <laughs> no, am Brown I, has am I mix, no, am I right? Am I mixing up my rappers? I was think it, it, it was his people, and it was it was during the Rihanna phase right. because like Rihanna was still in love with Chris Brown. She'll always be in love with Chris Brown, but like she was kind of dating Drake, and they're like besties. And um, so I think he was like just trying to, yeah. I, okay, that's why he had a line with her name in it too. Yeah, right. A little diss at her in a way, huh? I, don't I had know a little it was Rihanna a diss. Cut or. I mean, I think he, I think he kind of, kind of is kind of like, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like if you remember when Justin Timberlake was on it years of ago. Of course, you remember. Yeah. So yeah. I think she has. Every, <laughs> I'm not wearing my Justin Timberlake shirt. She tell you the date shirt, and the but, time. Uh, there, yeah. there was a sketch that Justin Timberlake did with Andy Samberg, and they were um, immigrants. And um, it, it's it's a hysterical sketch, but it's it's with Justin and Andy, and he did this kind of almost. It wasn't really a jab, but it was it was he brought up be dating Britney Spears. Oh. And but it but it was. In his character. So it, it, look it up. It's Justin Timberlake, Andy Samberg, and they're like Irish immigrants. It's hysterical. But yeah, he did he did kind of the same thing, but it wasn't I don't think it was an insult. I think it was just kind of like like kind of almost poking fun of it himself. Like, yeah, I know I've been in the tabloids. Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> like I'm that guy. I dated Rihanna. Like I love when they can actually do that to themselves or make fun of what their choices. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Britney Spears even did it herself with the mm-hmm. whole fake boob in her monologue. You mm-hmm. remember that? And then right. the boobs started moving. Mm-hmm. And, and Gaga. Gaga just destroyed oh, herself. No. Yeah. <laughs> So moving. And Kanye, what? No, he didn't. <laughs> no, I don't think he would even. <laughs> yeah, no, Ye- Ye- Jesus. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he doesn't. He takes himself really serious. Bless his heart. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a southern mother. Bless in the South. his heart. Yeah. So, would you guys think that that would be one of the better monologues we've seen this season? So far. Yeah. 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 Especially with since it was Drake out of all people. Yeah. Right, and the fact that they did that n- new thing that we haven't seen where they sort of incorporated a sketch in. Into the monologue. That yeah. was better than Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> monologue. I, I said it, and I know Paul McCartney <laughs> was his, his monologue. I know he was, but I just thought it was something different. It was something new, and it was fresh, and that's I liked true. it. Yeah, I it was it. different. It's hard to beat Jimmy, but yeah, that's. Uh, I yeah. like I like the fact it was different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will see. It'll be interesting if they keep. If that becomes a regular oh, thing, well, they do. SNL is probably going to abuse it because right. that's one of the things they're known for. If a sketch works, right. they will just <laughs> they'll use it to you death. Know? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. and so every everyone's asking no more. Yeah, no more. every every guest that or every host that comes on who's Jewish, they're just going to yeah. be a bummer. <laughs> they're going to be a bummer. Like, yeah, yeah. Like open up every show. And exactly. Vanessa, Vanessa will be in it. Yeah, yeah. she'll be the Jewish mother yeah. regardless. Or the Jewish or brother. She'll, she'll, yeah. bring, she'll bring her Jacob character. Yeah. I love yeah. her Jacob character. So the next sketch is BET's Hip Hop Classics: The Rappers Before They Got Big. And swag. basically, 90 show, yeah, with swag or sway, swag, sway, sway, sway. I thought you said swag. I'm like swag. No, no sway. Totally wrong. Sway, yeah. <laughs> sway, Keenan. Oh, this I really I liked it a lot. Even though it went kind of long, right. I really liked it. It was enjoyable from start to finish because I wasn't expecting them to pull, you know, for example, uh, Rihanna being in Blossom in the opening with with the new with cast member. Yeah. Sheer, she was good yeah. as Rihanna. She was great. It was quick. I yeah. mean, it was little. And then the smoke at the end coming out of her right. mouth. <laughs> that was a, that was like the button on the Rihanna part. Yeah. That was just so funny. That was yeah. good. We had Eminem being in Felicity. Taryn, oh my god. That was hilarious. I, I love Eminem, so like seeing like them mock Eminem and having Taryn do it so like he got his voice down. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh. It was so funny. And Felicity. Yeah. They kind of pull back for that. But everyone remembers Felicity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 Felicity, oh that that time frame. Again, strong character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of like strong um, in, in um, impersonations, mm-hmm. which I don't feel like we've seen a lot of really strong impersonations from this cast. This cast, this so cast far. Yeah. right? But it mm-hmm. makes you think though, because it, I don't believe that obviously those weren't all live; those were tapes, yeah. and then they played them. Right, so, right. do you think that might have an effect on how they, how well they do impress, uh, impersonate? Because they can speak. redo it and retape it, and yeah, fix mm-hmm. it, and yeah, exactly. Probably, yeah, makes a difference. 
Yeah. It might, yeah, I mean, it, I, that's a great point. I'm going to like now be looking out for, for it. Like, like, see if it's, like, you can't do it live. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see who actually does it live. Yeah. Yeah. You're not a real SNL yeah. cast member. <laughs> Try it live and when the crowd's <laughs> booing at you. <laughs> um, and then Little Wayne, Drake playing Little Wayne oh, in Family Matters. My. You all that got any cheese? <laughs> I funny. totally butchered that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm laughing at uh, you or my memory of that sketch. Oh, well, either way, it works. You know, <laughs> but yeah, I just it was great. This whole thing, uh, two chains and uh, uh, Jay Farrell. There he is again there playing he was. two chains. Yeah. That's right. That and was that was so Bichard funny when he was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, every I I don't know. I get Drake. I have to go back to Drake as Lil Wayne because who knew Drake had that in him? Yeah. Right. Like, Exactly. It just, and it's so funny because you know Drake has hung out with all these guys. You mm-hmm. know he's been around them because he also did Jay-Z. Yeah. Which I was like, I didn't even realize it was Drake doing Jay-Z. I was trying to be like, what? Really? Who? Yeah, I didn't. Wow. I don't know. I just I couldn't figure it out at first. I was like, who's doing it? Oh, that's Drake. <laughs> what? He did Lil Wayne and Jay-Z? Yeah. Like, right. He was I, good. I, I was a little thrown off that they had him playing Jay-Z. Because usually it's Jay that plays Jay Z, right. so I was thrown off by that too. Mm. It was kind of good that he it could did have been it. where Drake wanted to do it. Yeah, you know, that's we true. talked about w- what the host gets to do or not do. Yeah, so and maybe he wanted to be play portray right. him. He's like, no, let me do both. I can do it. I can show you. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. yeah. The one that I thought was kind of a little bit pushing it uh, was the Wonder Years one uh, with Flavor Flav as uh, <laughs> Brett Savage's adult voice. <laughs> like it was funny, but. I don't know. Maybe if they got rid of maybe Rick Ross, as, Rick Ross as the red Teletubby. Tub, oh, I can't speak Teletubby, right. and then they put that one in because, like I said, it felt like it was going a little mm-hmm. bit too long. But either way, they were very creative. <laughs> I, I feel like they they probably just. I bet you they tried to cut it, but mm-hmm. then they were like, they're, they're too good. Like I mean, because Keenan and uh, Rick Ross as the Teletubby, that was so funny. Right. So, I mean, I'm sure maybe that's what they were just struggling with it, and they were just you know, like, screw it. We were talking earlier about, I would love to see, like, what they cut. And, like, they should do, like, an after show kind of thing. Of, uh, like, <laughs> what, di- what didn't make the fight, you know, between... Send ju- us that footage. Wouldn't yeah. that be perfect for here? <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. So, like, hey. stuff that got cut or, what you know, how it was before and how it got edited between the two shows. Yeah. yeah. They should call in and just talk to us about it. You know? Don't yeah, they like know who this, we are? Yeah, don't. they do. Please. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Jay Farrell, you know. Hello. Jay! <laughs> call talk me to us. Keenan! Justin Keenan. Timberlake. <laughs> yeah, right well, I, I'm almost there. Right. You're, you'll connect with Lance, and then yes. you'll let him know, and he'll uh-huh. tell JT, and it's all Kevin, three degrees of bacon it's type all thing. It's you know? separation. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who I can talk to yet, so I'll work on that, guys. I want to be able to bring Kate McKinnon. Kate, I would, oh my God, I don't know if I could speak in front of Kate McKinnon. Like, uh, She'd really uh, like you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Indeed. The ending of the sketch, I thought, was good how they ended it. I love the random with the cat in the hat. You know, meow. Right. Really. right. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, there's a cat. What? I just fed you. <laughs> and then just ends it that way. Because sometimes they don't know how to end these sketches. Sometimes. Exactly. And I was wondering how they were going to end it. Right. And yeah. they just did something really random out of the blue. And I was like, all right, I dig it. Right. I like it. All right, let's end it. Cool. Fabulous, you know. What's your grade for it? I gave it an A minus. I would I would agree with the A minus, yeah. I'd give it a B. Really? Uh yeah. It, no pressure. You can stick with your B. No, you know, I give it a B. No, I'm I mean, go down to B. I'm yeah, gonna go oh, down. See, I, I agree. With, yeah, yeah. Get off I mean, the bandwagon, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm sorry. The, I, I, yeah, no, I'm B. It was yeah. Okay. Well, it's A minus is kind of close to a B. Right. So <laughs> well, it's not a B plus. Just B. Don't, <laughs> right. don't, don't, don't push don't it. Don't push it, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> With love, oh. right? Be arch. I hate yeah. it. Yeah, right. <laughs> love ya, bitch. Right, mean it. The, the next sketch, Nancy Grace. Okay. I wasn't that big of a fan, um, just because I was telling Jasper earlier about the whole, I'm not used to, uh, what's her face, Noelle Wells playing Nancy. Yeah. This was her and first time, right? Yeah, I believe it this. was from this season. Yeah. Because, you, you know, we all remember Amy mm-hmm. doing it. And I'm from Georgia, so I'm mm-hmm. tough on the accent. The accent, she didn't have the accent. No. Yeah, but this but the sketch itself was funny. I yeah. mean, the writing was funny. I got a question for you though. Mm-hmm. What about the babies? <laughs> what about the babies? <laughs> they beat Points that to proven. Death. Yeah. <laughs> I I I agree. I couldn't believe her as Nancy Grace. Yeah. I, like, I like I when I had to like rewind it to be like what like who We're, who is she making fun of or right. who is who is this person and rewind it and see that it was the Nancy Grace show. And I was you like, almost yeah. think Kate would have been better. 
Yeah. I but mean, Kate is Kate. They Kate can't, can't be Kate in every. Forever. She can't be in everything. <laughs> Vanessa and she can't do the whole show. So. I am glad though that they they did give um, her a chance. Noel Noel Wells. Yeah. They yeah. they did let her shine a little bit. She hasn't had a chance to really like carry like carry a sketch yet. So you know, and and I feel she's new. They they still need. She still needs to build that confidence. Mm-hmm. She still needs to feel better about her characters. And she did it live. Yeah. Right. So, you know. Yeah. So props to her that she did this new character live. And so you know, I'll throw her a bone. Yeah. On that one. Yeah. She wasn't terrible, but she you know wasn't the best. Like I was saying, it's just comparing it to Amy Poehler. It's kind of it's really hard to let go of that image. Yeah. You know, any character that Kristen Wiig played, I would still do the same thing mm-hmm. if someone else right. played. You know. That's yeah. why I'm surprised they even. Let she did it. Yeah. Like the fact Amy had Ballsy. done it for so well. Yeah. You know, that was really. It's kind of like when they replaced the Joker in Batman. And it's like when the when American they Idol, they want to really sing random. a Mariah Carey <laughs> song or something. Yeah. It's like, and I mean, I feel like that, I mean, even when, um, I can't even remember who, what his name was, who did Obama before Jay Farrow. Oh. oh uh, um, People ripped Jay Farrow apart oh. about it. He like, was married to uh, Elizabeth Moss. Yeah, I'm, it's horrible wow. right now, but. They, wow. <laughs> And then he had the affair with Abby Elliott and broke up his marriage. But um, but in, the, in like when Will Ferrell, uh, were <laughs> like <laughs> President Bush was played by a number of different people. I think it's always there's like a little bit of like a a, a time period where they have to kind of earn our trust right. again yeah. as right. that character. So I'll give I'll if they want to throw her in to do it again in a couple weeks, right. I'll, I'll listen. I'll yeah. Listen. But I, she I had the confidence, which was great when she was delivering it. Right. She mm-hmm. didn't hesitate. Right. She knew her lines. She went for it. Mm-hmm. And I can definitely, definitely do it. And we all know Nancy Grace is a little crazy. So yeah. she was her obsession with the whole legalizing marijuana thing. Right. But let's say who stole the show for that one would have to be Drake, Drake. as Drake. Kate, Cat Williams. That was oh hilarious. My. He was he, great. The hair. The flipping of the oh hair and gosh. everything. And he kept doing this. And the, the voice. Yeah. Fred Armisen, by the way. Fred yes, Armisen. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I just listened Those to... Those bothering me. I just listened to an interview with him and Howard Stern, so I don't know why I didn't get that, but whatever. What yeah. happened to Ab- Abby Elliott, who was on there? She just left. After I think there was the affair, creative differences. Left? There was something where she just left. Okay. Yeah. Well, something bless her. I don't God even know her. who that is. Really? <laughs> she was she on was, a few seasons. She was good. I liked her. She kind of was a... Kate Hudson lookalike, yeah. sort of blonde. Really? She played. She started featured and then she became. She originally started doing Zoe, uh, Zoe de Chanel. Yes. Zoe de Chanel. She did Zoe. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. She originally did. And right. then obviously um, Noelle is going to do a lot better impersonation of her, but yeah. still. Mm-hmm. But, anyways, back to Nancy Grace. Right. Cat uh, Williams as Drake. That was great. That was funny. <laughs> Again, I just, Drake. He was impressive. He got everything down with Perfect. the like, with the fingers. Have you ever seen Cat Williams? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, I. So. I had someone tell me I look like Cat Williams once. No. Seriously, I swear <laughs> to God. What? I was at an audition at ABC one day, and this guy did he did, did a double take. He goes, "Hey, man, ooh, I thought you were Cat Williams." And I was like, "Okay, wait. First of all, he's black, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he has like." You know, a Jerry curl, and it was just. Hilarious. Was he someone that was doing the auditions, he was or just was he just someone random? Oh, in the that's way. weird. Uh, so I was like, okay, cool. I was gonna say, if it's his director, be like, I can be. Do you want me to be <laughs> going in the yeah. part? You know? So Cat Williams, yeah. I didn't know a lot of people even knew who that was. I didn't. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know who it was. <laughs> I didn't know who it was, but I recognized. I when Drake like the character came up, I was like, oh, I know, like I know, like I didn't know what his it's name was. It's kind of little yeah. Richardish, too. Yes, you yeah. Cat's got that little Richard quality. He does. A very bit. unique. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very then simple. Girl. One line that Kate McKinnon was like, "It's Baking Bad, and I'm the one who comes knocking." I, I love the reference <laughs> to Breaking Bad because I loved Breaking Bad. Oh yeah. I, did you and, get, I loved it. Yeah. Oh God. So what? What? You made a face. I. You never only, saw. I've it. only seen the first two episodes. Oh, that's right. You're okay. trying to catch up. I, like I, I like that you didn't lie and pretend that you liked it. My dad over the holidays like binged Breaking Bad like in a span of three days. Got through like two and a half seasons, and wow. to the like he like finally like left his like room and was like, you, when you watch a show like that, you just it's you just start thinking these thoughts, and I'm like, you need, <laughs> I'm gonna take away what? your what? iPad. No more Netflix. No more Breaking Bad. Yeah, that's Bad. a, that's a sh- this is scaring me. To, if you binge on that, that's pretty dark, know. right? That's pretty twisted. Maybe very twisted. Trying to get some more money. Maybe it was a thought process. Maybe he's for thinking, me now. hmm, yeah. oh, little God. side business right. there. <laughs> oh. So what would you guys rate Nancy Grace? Uh, I give this one a B plus. I would give the writing B. an A, and I'd give the sketch a C. I'm going to give it a C plus. Well, explain to me why you would give the writing an A and well, not the sketch. How are those two different? I just thought, Noelle, is that her name? Yeah. 
her performance brought it way down. Okay. So for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just was so off as Nancy that it kind of... Is it because of the whole Amy Poehler? Well, I, I just didn't think she had the Southern... There was nothing... So, I didn't think she had Nancy's look or, or mm -hmm. even her cadence or anything. She looked way too young and little. Like right. yeah. She looked like Noelle. Like, she didn't look She could like, be Nancy's daughter. Yeah. She could be know? Nancy if she did cocaine, maybe. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It depends <laughs> yeah. on, like, old age or, like... But there's somebody she looked like. Like, yeah. when it first started, I couldn't remember... Who, there was another celebrity she kind of looked like, and I yeah. can't think of who it was. It was like, who is she going to impersonate? I feel here? like maybe A.D. Bryant could have done her Vanessa Bayer. Yeah, maybe right. Someone with more age to her. Not anything wrong with Noel. Just no, saying, no, no. You know. She's, she'll have her yeah. come up. Good, good effort. She will. Yeah, they yeah. used her a good bit. They the first episode they used her a lot when she first came on. The first, se you know, her first time. Yeah, that's true. They, they used did, her huh? more than anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, still but, waiting for Brooks to. Get his, more. get his yeah. time. Oh, Brooks. Every yeah. time I, he, I laugh every time I see him because I'm just like, yeah, that's just Brooks being Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, next sketch, the digital short, is what you would pretty much call it, is New Year's Resolution Revolution. That was fun. That was my favorite and hands down all favorite music video thing for the season. So funny. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> no, like just everything with Jay Farrell being no more sex toys and you just see him. I did not expect the <laughs> sex toys and him to start humping the sex toy. That was funny. And it was just great, you know? <laughs> it was, yeah. I liked it. It was catchy too. And we had the new girl on there. Oh yeah. my gosh. She, yeah. she was good. She was so good. Yeah. There was a lot of pressure on her, I'm sure, last night. Oh, definitely. You know? Especially with Drake being the right. host. and I think she knocked out of the part. Like, yeah. she, right. she killed it. Yeah. And they gave her just enough so it wasn't exactly. like okay were clearly like, we're you know yeah. we're not going to go overboard here mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I thought drake i thought i thought the writing for that um that song was so catchy and yeah. funny and i yeah every bit of it i enjoyed i think it was definitely a jay farrell original because you know he did Maybe, the yeah the, uh, oh yeah that's right where's that what's that store that <laughs> that's our drawing blanks uh h&m h&m yeah. the h&m shopping ninja well, do you know what? Actually, it's not my favorite. It's probably my second favorite. My favorite is the doing it in my twin bed. <gasps> I forgot one. about which, that one. Which, oh. I mean, it featured all the girls. Yeah. And that it was, was just so funny. It still gets stuck okay, in my Okay, for head the new sometimes. year, this is my favorite. Okay, but 2014. That's my favorite, but that's my favorite yeah. so far. Yeah. <laughs> you have to beat this one in 2014. Do it in the twin yeah. bed. Yeah, okay. but doing it in my twin that's bed, that's, that's, that's fair to do, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Diet starts now. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> or no more drinking. No more bar. bar. <laughs> <laughs> or the uh, the cosplay or cosplay or COS that play. That was right. so fun. Yeah. And you know that they probably just were like, hey guys, just go improv just it. Like, yeah. And, like, and, then, yeah, yeah. and they just like kind of channeled their inner um, role models. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Channeled role models and just like enjoyed hitting each yeah. other and like pretending they're elves. So they that all have funny. inner nerds in them. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, they I think do. So. Definitely. I'd I, give that an A. plus. Yes, A plus. Just, yeah, oh, okay. we were, I just went to the yeah. grade. Sorry, I'm sweet. No, that's. I was about. To, I, I was looking at my A plus, <laughs> and then you said A plus. I'm like, did I say that out loud too? Or are you mm. reading my mind? Get out of my head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A plus for the win. Um, now this next sketch was uh, Mr. Gorman slumber party. Hmm. Well, eighty is that her name? Yeah, eighty Bryant. She was. She killed it in that. But I, I don't think it was. I think she was. She was act, good. But the writing was. Bleh. Yeah, she. It was like. She kept it going. Yeah. But she committed. Mm hmm. But she did. I dare. To the very end <laughs> yes. when she's dry let's, humping. Yeah, let's play truth or dare. I dare. I choose dare. <laughs> and I dare myself to kiss your dad. <laughs> she was so creepy and it was great. And it was nice to see Drake because he was kind of, he's kind of been featured in every single sketch thus far. Mm -hmm. and it was kind of nice to see him as kind of just a supporting like, character. Exactly. Sort of the straight, uh -huh, yeah. the straight guy. The straight guy. And, um, Again, it's so funny now because I feel like they're, I feel like they got such good feedback when they when they used all the girls in that and the the doing it in my right. twin bed. Mm -hmm. So it was like they're like they're all the girls. All They've been doing that a lot recently. They did it with the Josh Hutcherson right. episode um, when he did the Jesse she is my friend. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that song. All the girls from the show were there. Mm -hmm. So th they're kind of like doing a lot of girl ensemble pieces, yeah. right. which I, which I appreciate because they haven't done that a lot in the past. I wonder yeah. how many female writers they have. I don't, do you know? I haven't even looked at the. I haven't looked at that comparison. Uh, makes but a difference. now I'm yeah. definitely gonna. You know. say, well, they got, they added two more females yeah. to this crew for right. this the week black, with the new ones. The yeah, black girls. so right. Who knows? Maybe that definitely does have an influence on it. And Sasha, Sasha, 
Shashina. Shashina. Yeah. Shashapanuga. The new girl is a. Uh, <laughs> Shashan. <laughs> she was leading that sketch too. Right. Even though eighty was the she main was the person. Daughter. Yeah. She was a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Had a lot what more was lines. It? Naz- Nazim. 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 They don't use her enough. No. We talked about that earlier. Yeah. You know. You know. But they did use her in. Uh, they used her in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nazim is the uh, Indiana. Rashid. Right. <laughs> you know, and you know, I, I even <clears throat> thought Kate McKinnon <laughs> in that sketch, yeah. she was like a complete, again, right. she, her characters change so dramatically yep. and the way she can just be on and just something, and do 180 as quickly as right. she does. Yeah. And she was such a small role, but I just remember her yeah. in that sketch. She even changed her voice for yeah. it right. <laughs> to seem younger. She's sort of the Kristen Wiig. She's oh, definitely yeah. the one, the breakout female I think. Yeah. yeah. I, I think she's I think she's almost even more like Tina Fey. Yeah. I think I think Tina she's I don't know, she seems more calm and collected than Kristen Wing was. Well, fun fact about Tina Fey, she was actually um, the new girl was a part of the same um, school that she was a part of. Oh. Tina Fey. So she oh, had the really? same coach oh. as Tina Fey. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. Were so, they second city? Uh, she was up, upright oh. citizen brigade. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she, um, she graduated from U- University of Virginia and yeah, so she was in she's the same young, improv right? troupe she, as Tina Fey. She's Fett. young. She's in her yeah, t- yeah, she is 27. Okay. Yeah, I did my little research beforehand. Yes, guys, I yes. Know, I know a couple of uh, UCB. actresses who did the show, you know, tried out for it, mm-hmm. auditioned. Cool. So. That's yeah. aw- and the two writers that they added on also auditioned, really? or auditioned for it, so right. they were part of that. So they're probably, that's a good point. Maybe mm-hmm. they will eventually come on yeah. on camera. Yeah. I mean, that, that's how Andy Samberg got on, right? Mm-hmm. That's how they all, like yeah, Will that, Forte and... Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you're like my fact checker, right? <laughs> I, yeah, he was, my, ri- yeah, yeah, he was a writer. Sounds good. I'll go why, with why are you laughing at me? She because you look at me like she doesn't I don't know. know. She's just making like, all this smile and nod, smile and nod. Just a little. I don't. I'm afraid to say the wrong thing. You know, I'm like just kidding. Me. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna keep saying. Mr. Gorman, so. slumber party <laughs> sketch. Uh, what would you rate that? I'd give it a C minus. Yeah, C minus. I, I yeah, C minus. I give it eighty and I like an A, but I'd give the sketch, sketch C minus. Yeah. What about the con- the idea? Do you think it was creative? It no. it was like a one note joke that just yeah went on a little too long. Yeah, that's true. I just want you just wanted to cut to the humping of the chair right away. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to even. I wasn't the sure. Of the chair. Again, I yeah. just think sometimes they the sketches don't know how to end. Yeah. Uh, but I wonder if that's like if it's been tried several ways. You know, if mm-hmm. this is like the third thing they they finalized and said, let's go with that. Yeah. So, see what happens. But right. hey, there's physical comedy that they're throwing back in, which right. is great. Um, but real quick before we move on to weekend update, one of the lines that I really liked and. Uh, Ady Bryan's like, I'm getting an A in sex ed. As if it's like a pickup line. <laughs> and then Cecily, I believe, says, we don't even have that class. Ooh. And plus, you're getting all Ds. <laughs> like, like, it's just a great little attack, and you can kind of see what kind of character she really is. But anyways, let's move on to Weekend Update. Um, with Where they try to introduce uh, Jacqueline Bissett. Bissett? Bissett. 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 I mean, did you, you saw the Golden Globes? Oh, my yeah. God, yeah. I kept wondering where they're going to put that yeah. in the yeah. show. They had, to, they had to touch on that. Or, what? like, something about, like, the scooting around the chairs. Because it was so awkward. Because she yeah. was seated in the parking lot for that. <laughs> it's almost like they called her on the cell phone and said, you won. Could yeah. you come out of your car now? Well, and somebody roofied her before she even oh got a chance God. to come yeah. on yeah. stage. And then, because I'm old, I knew who she was. But does... Did you ladies know who I she did was? not. I didn't, but I know that when she got on the stage, she was amazed that she got chosen. So I figured it's she so, It's almost like been, she didn't know she was nominated. Yeah. Yeah. Like, almost like... Like, oh, man, I'm oh, going to the Golden Globes. Right. I don't know. Because she was kind of sad when she said she won Best Newcomer in 67. Or, I don't know what. Mm, yeah. You know, and it's like, and you haven't been back since, yeah. apparently. But I mean, what this was is the, the thing. movie? I didn't even know what it was. I don't know, it God was it was a mini series. Yeah, it was a TV uh, like Showtime or something like and that. And honestly, even as awkward as that was, that was the best thing that could have happened to her because b- our generation <laughs> right. knows who yeah. the hell she right. is now, right. yep. and so we're gonna want to see her like more, like because she's like the kind of this kooky old lady. And who, she was like really the really sexy hot babe in the seventies. I'm trying to think who she would be close. I mean, she you know she was English and really mm-hmm. sexy. The, I'm trying to think the deep. I oh, don't know. She, oh. Who who would she be like? Um, um, not Angelina, not no, quite that. But, but um, oh, she's in all the uh, oh, uh, Underworld movies. Uh, oh, Kate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate, Kate Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Yeah. Kate exactly. Beckinsale, yeah. 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 yeah th- she was really, yeah. Th- well, really? The, you think she was like that? Back, back in the day. Back in the day, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. 
And, I mean, she's older than me. But she's I mean, like she, 70. I but. mean, she's still beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah. she's gorgeous. So she seemed like she, but anyway, she Vanessa seemed like was, she was funny. Yeah. I wasn't sure where they were, what yeah. they were going to do with that. <laughs> you don't know those people. Don't touch them. <laughs> don't, no, 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 no. Don't, don't touch them. <laughs> I, I love when they let when they have people in the audience that are involved that actually your audience member. Right. Yeah. And you can just see they're There's, all like yeah. they're all like this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, and people are like waving right. and, <laughs> to get on. And uh, she just stuck with stayed in character. Right. It was so great. Yeah. Shout out though, real quick, to Amy Poehler and Andy Samberg for getting their Golden Globes. Uh, yeah. Hello, they, they got it. And, Especially and, Andy's show. That was a big surprise, oh which gosh, is great. Yeah. 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 And for Tina and uh, Amy, their hosting yeah. was phenomenal. Yes. Never, I would have liked again. to have seen even more of them. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, more in the show. I know it can't be all hosting. But. Didn't Amy? Oh, she played the son. I thought she was playing oh Justin Bieber. God. She yeah. was Tina's son from a different. From a, is this my dad? She can't no. know. She doesn't know who the father is. <laughs> yeah. Tina looked so. I mean, they both looked really beautiful, but. Tina, damn, she looks really she good looks now. Good. And she was in this red dress in the beginning of the Golden Globes, and I know we're like completely like getting away from it. <laughs> but I was like, holy well, it's crap, Tina. SNL. She's because from in SNL, SNL, they really didn't let her, the, you know, the girls, they can't be that, you know, Pretty. glamorous and right. stuff. But oh my gosh, who knew she Tina? Like, she was hot. Yeah. yeah. She's a good mother of two. Right. What? She has two kids. She's that, oh my God. Yeah. Well, and Amy has like three. Doesn't she? Or two I, or three? At least two. Yeah. yeah. Little boys. I saw a picture of them. They have, like, blonde hair. It's amazing. Amy Poehler one time asked me where the bathroom was, and it, I worked the SAG Awards last year. Did you I, take her on the wrong well, tour? Well, no. So and you're like, it's actually over here? Car? Oh, wait. The I'm, dog. Like, I'm, like, walking because I was being called on my walkie, and I'm walking, and I'm like, oh, God, I got to get here. I got to get here. And I look up, and, like, right as I'm, like, hitting this woman, and she and I just kind of like, oh, my God. She's like, oh, my God. You, she saw the walkie in my ear. She's like, oh, do you know where the bathroom is? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over here. And someone's calling me in my ear, and she, like, goes there and I'm like, okay, wait. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to go to the bathroom, bathroom too. too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never oh. heard anything but great things about her. Oh, she, she's I have friends that work yeah. parts and recreation. Yeah, she's yeah. a good good lady. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love when like famous people are like Because there's nothing people. worse yeah. than when you, you you love an actor or an actress and then you meet them, they're just total like douchebags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, back to name, SNL. I'm sorry. Yeah, back. I'm sorry. Well, Nassim comes back as Ariana Huffington. Which she's always funny yes. doing that. And I love her reaction with Seth. It'll be interesting if she has the same kind of chemistry with Cecily when she takes over 100%. But <gasps> Who do oh, we think is going to... Do you think just, there's going to... Okay, so we asked every guest this. Do you think Cecily can handle it on her own? No. No? Do you think she oh, needs Do I think she could? Yeah, as, for I think she update. could. I don't think Lauren will give her that that soon. Do you think, who do you think will? Hmm. I could see two women again. I could Kate, see yeah. it being Kate. 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 Being Even Kate. though Kate has a bunch of characters that she does. Yeah, that is true. She does. Sorry. Um, Keaton. <laughs> I, can you, I can't think of one of the, the new guys. Uh, Brooks Who's the Whelan? AT&T guy? Uh, Brooks Whelan is the other guy. I it was drawing oh, a blank. I'm still drawing. Yeah, um, you know, who, yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. He's got that sort of newscaster. Guy, yeah, and he has a voice, too, that he Yeah, can and he do. does those, maybe because of the AT&T commercials. I yeah. can see him doing it. But. I, I think you bring up a good point that they're, they're not going to, they probably won't put Kate in there just because they use her too much for characters, for, for characters. like the guests. Same with Vanessa. Yeah. I, w- I wonder if A.D. Bryant. She, but she does have characters on the that she pulls on there. Like, she's randomly at that airport airplane port thing. Yeah, they have, they have so many new, like, new features. <laughs> that was my attempt. They, they have so many new featured guys right. that mm-hmm. can play that straight man right. there that I, yeah, I think you're right. As much as I would like to see Kate. I can't think Beck of Bennett. Oh. Beck, Beck, Beck Bennett. Bennett. I, Beck yes. Bennett. BB. Beck Bennett. Yeah. I could see him be, that being. I don't want to leave so us hanging on what do you think? Do you think? You th- you I, would if like she, to see if she was by it? herself, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think the fem- like I would love it if it was uh, Kate McKenna Kate because I feel like they would have a great chemistry like Tina together. And Amy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. Yeah. It'd be just. Did you do you like me. Seth? Yeah, yeah. He's great. Yeah. I mean, I thought when he was by himself, it was kind Keaton, of. Keaton, you like Seth? I, I like Seth, but I think they I don't I think they have awkward chemistry. Right. I yeah. don't think they have that they have really good chemistry. Right. I think they kind of just it seems like they just threw her in there because they're like, okay, who are we gonna have next? Uh, let's do Cecily, and then we'll figure it out later. Right. Seth, just deal with it and just right. like roll with it because you'll be gone soon. But we appreciate you, man. Like I feel like it wasn't it, right. It was kind of yeah. haphazard. Yeah. yeah. But I do. I actually like her better. Really. Than Seth. And Seth. Yeah. And I like Seth, but. Yeah. I do like her. Seth. I can't wait till his new show comes out. It should be exciting. Mm-hmm. 
So we were talking saying. earlier about why, you know, since he shoots both shows at 30 Rock, why he couldn't just continue to, yeah. to do SNL also. But Because I, I, I've worked on a talk show, not a late night show, but... It's a lot of work. It is mm-hmm. so much right. work for everybody yeah, involved. They come in in the morning yeah. and work all day. Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah. yeah, you're working into the night and you get up and do the same and thing. And he's probably going to be very hands-on with the ske- you know yeah. everything that happens. Yeah, so. which I feel like Jimmy <laughs> Fallon is, and that's right. why it's so good. Because um, yeah. he puts a lot of himself right. in it, That's so true. and I think Seth knows that like Jimmy's raised the bar, and he has to he has to go there That's and big, you know make him proud. It's a it's big shoes to fill. It is, like Jimmy's like <laughs> Jimmy's just filling Jay Leno shoes. Like Seth has to fill Jimmy Fallon right. shoes, which I feel like is a bigger but, task. You know, in some ways though, I think Seth has less to worry about. I I worry that while I love Jimmy, mm-hmm. Jay's audience is definitely a different demographic. Absolutely. So it's going to be yeah. a matter. Are they going to pull? Is Jimmy going to pull a younger audience, or are the older people, my age, <laughs> and above, are they going to, you know, go with Jimmy? It's interesting because Jay's humor, you know, it's kind of corny. It's yeah. a little more. I feel we like talked about that. It's a little more uh, structured and rehearsed. Mm-hmm. But they still have that other talk show person that they can go watch if they want to be. Arsenio. Back. No, um, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> What's the? Other? Conan. No, not Conan. The Dave? other, the guy with the weird teeth. I don't watch him. Oh, oh, Dave Letterman. Yeah, Dave Letterman. there we go. Oh, wow. Like, Letterman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can go watch that. Oh, the, oh, veter- the veteran? Yeah. Yeah. David Letterman. Yeah. Unless he's going to be gone, then oops. No, I think he but. has like a ten, uh, 10 more years yeah. on the contract. Or I, something. I, I feel like, you know, like those younger guys, I mean, they're starting to reel in that older demographic right. with kind of like all their online stuff. I Because, I mean, look at Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy like, Kimmel. Jimmy has. Kimmel kind of spans the right. demographics. That's true. And I yeah. feel like Fallon will, will end up doing that right. as well. Well, we have until February to see what happens because Seth is on until February. Right. Um, but let's go ahead and move on. I mean, with the Indiana Jones Disney World with uh, Rahad. <clears throat> Rahad played by Nassim. Oh, Drake, again, stole that sketch. I feel like he, he's done it before. He, I did too. <laughs> he was so energized yeah. in those short shorts and did it. And mm-hmm. like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I've, like you you were the guy at the Indiana Jones yeah, thing I right. went to. Yeah. Yeah. So believable. I, he's, I think he's been there a lot. You know, the way his energy when he's like, go ahead, uh, go ahead and duck, Rahad. Go ahead, duck, Rahad. Like, he just kept repeating the line over and over, same tone. And yeah. it was just like, that made it. Yeah. And Rahad, of course, it seems just staring, not going anywhere. It's my race, you know, like type of thing. She was weird. She was, but that was the character. Yeah, this was my least favorite. Something yeah. about it didn't flow for me. Yeah. The whole thing, I, I did. That was my least favorite. Maybe it's because Drake's energy was so high and hers was just so I, low. But and again, I think it's the writing. Like mm-hmm. I, didn't, I thought they both committed and yeah. they did their thing. But I don't know. The I just didn't. The sketch didn't get me. I would. And agree. it went on a long time. Yeah, I did kind of go on. They didn't need to bring out those. I think third I went to the bathroom <laughs> at a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> Again, and they didn't know how to end the sketch. Yeah. When I came back, yeah. it's like, they just did she get hit with the ball yet? Or yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. So but I take it you guys would give it a C. I might give it a D. Yeah, Ooh. I'd get. Ooh, I, I'm gonna I'm give really it a C minus. I'm gonna give it a C minus. <laughs> no, I go for it. Just because I was, obs- I think that was like one of my favorite characters that Drake played. Yeah, I'll give it a solid C right. just because uh, it, he just was so on. And I, I mean, to do that was one of the later sketches in the show. He has already done a musical performance. Yeah. he had to be exhausted. Right. Yeah, and he just gave that 150 freaking percent, like, and and just and nailed it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. No, he did, and I. I, I what mean, would you I'll, give it? C minus. Okay. C. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I yeah. mean, I just I liked Nasim and how right. she played that. Right. Like that, just the concept. It made me giggle, but it did drag, it did. and it just. See, kind she, of she's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Like she has been. I just feel like they're not. She's getting sort of lost in this season. Yeah. yeah. She's getting kind of lost in the shuffle. I think there's just so many strong girls. Right. And they're, yeah. they're like discovering, oh my God, they can do this really good. Mm-hmm. So they're like trying to do write a sketch right. for that person or that right. person. So yeah. She, yeah, she's kind of, I mean, she still gets Kim Ye, but. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Waking up with Kim Ye. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and then the next sketch was uh, the Newberry Detention, which they did with Miley Cyrus with the whole poetry reading by Vanessa Bear. Mm-hmm. Right. And I was, I kind of found it weird that from this point on, it kind of seemed like they just copied that idea of what they had for Miley Cyrus right. and just did it with Drake instead. With Drake. And it it actually worked, I felt like, better with Drake. Mm-hmm. But it was still not... It was just repeating the sketches and I just wasn't... Eh. Yeah. Kind of seemed last minute, hey, let's just do this instead. Or, I, mean, I don't know, it wasn't very creative. funniest I'm part sure. of that character is when she does that, <laughs> yeah. that thing after every... Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Well, let's, we're, we're short on time, so let's just move on real quick. Uh, morning, Miami. Um, That's funny. It was funny. It kind of drags again, too. Right. We kind of talked earlier. But we kind of want something to happen, like mm -hmm. someone just to get up and shoot each other at the end or something. And I don't yeah. think it's, it was as funny as the first time they did it. Right. I, it was not as funny as the first time they did it. So, yeah. yeah. I, it I think was better we, than the I think we would be scene. better, actually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Right. Oh, God. And then the last sketch was I Know, which is a Beck Bennett and um, Kyle Mooney. Sketch. Oh, you got the name. Yeah. Really? You didn't like it? I, I don't think you like, like their it. style, I feel like. Maybe maybe that's it. I'm yeah. not feeling, I was not feeling it at all. Mm -hmm. I just, I was like, I don't get why this I is I liked funny. it better when I watched it the second time. Yeah. Because I got to see it a, a second time. I felt like it was a sketch I saw, like, at, at my, in my college, like, like, improv thing. Like, that's what, <laughs> I mean, or like sketch comedy group. Like, I felt like it just was, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. Right. I liked it. Because I yeah. always have those people that are like, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> You're just like, shut up. <laughs> Let me finish the story. And like, I know. It's just, anyways, it's creative. I like that they're giving them the power to do that. You know. Right. But let's just move on to you, sir, Jasper. To me. Yeah. Let's move oh, on wow. to you. Wait, wait, wait. Overall, overall well, letter grade for the whole episode. Oh, a I B. Would, I'd give it a B. Uh, okay, I give it a B plus. Oh, oh good. really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I love me some Drake. Yeah. No, he, I was no, happy I would, with him. Yeah. If if. If the sketches have been all consistent, I'd give it an A. Yeah, but yeah. Good he point. he gets an A plus, yeah. I think. Cool. Yeah, definitely him for sure. He hit every character that they gave him. He delivered. It was just like we were talking about the writing. Kind yeah, of a little bit slacking, but yeah, I was happy with it. Thank now you. I want to talk about you. Yeah. Talk about me. <laughs> oh God. So you were an in MacGruber. I was in MacGruber, yes, and it changed my career. I mean, I this is like my 26th year as an actor. I was a child actor, apparently. No, I'm not. Oh, um, really? No, I have my 50th birthday, February 1st. So um, when you're birthday. a character actor, you can say, I, I actually would be better to be older. Like, I've worked more as I've gotten older mm -hmm. and creepier and scarier looking. <laughs> um, but, no, it changed my career in the sense that getting in that big studio picture, it also gave me a lot more comedy auditions, like, Usually playing these kind of guys, mm -hmm. I, d I had, don't do a lot of comedy. I'm still playing the bad guys in comedy, mm -hmm. but after doing MacGruber, it's like it seems like I got into all these studio pictures. I mean auditions. I didn't book them all, but it kind of did change everything for me. Nice. Yeah, and so, it was just great being in that company. There were so many high expectations for that movie. Yeah. You know, um, but it's kind of done really well now. It's sort of like it's a like cult. a cult hit. There's yeah. a huge yeah. cult following that's happened. I think they are doing a sequel. Yeah, I hope they well, do. Especially now Will got Nebraska, mm. and there's all this buzz around him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so my character's killed in it. Yorma, the director, we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, can I come back as maybe a zombie or something? <laughs> Can't Zeke come back? Right. Yeah. But it was it was great. And to see Seth and how that hard they worked on that script and, you know. So what was your favorite moment being on set and working with Kristen, working with working Will? Working with Kristen. My yeah. favorite moment is was offset. We all stayed in the same hotel, and um, she and I. It was one of those glass elevators where the the lobbies, mm -hmm. you know, inside. And she and I got in the elevator one day, and this woman got on. And Kristen's just one of those like she's just funny, like mm -hmm. even when she's not doing anything. And this lady came on, and she was covered with turquoise jewelry, like from Santa Fe. Like it was <laughs> literally every piece of her. And so, it's so when Chris, when the, the lady got out, Kristen's like. I really want to try this character. I've been wanting to do this woman. And I don't know if you remember, that the, the two episodes into that next season, she tried this character. It was a woman that wore Santa Fe jewelry, and she huh. ran a, like a, a, a crystal shop. It didn't go. She did mm -hmm. it one time. But it was fascinating. She made me laugh the entire time on the set, too, because she would improvise. <laughs> yeah, it was. Do some, you know. Uh, what year, so we did this in 2009. So it would have been, it would have been the, two, the 2010 season. I remember I it was when I was in college because my college, my, the, the main bar at my college won for Will Arnett and Ryan Phillippe to come. Oh, wow. And like, we had a screening at our school, and they came and partied like, at this bar with us. And so everyone was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny. Yeah, so she tried the character one time, yeah. but it didn't make it. But she was she would improv on the set. There's a scene when uh, my character's killed, and afterwards she comes up and she's supposed to say, "I, I peed my pants," or whatever. <laughs> and they just let her go on for like 20 minutes, and we're dying. We're on the floor laughing because she just <laughs> makes shit up, you know. Like, yeah. So it was great. Yeah. Yeah. So she is as cool as she seems. Totally cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really unpretentious. 
And this Sweet. was, you know, b the summer before Bridesmaids. Yeah. So oh. she hadn't really blown up yet. Blown yeah. up yet. Yeah. Were you on set at all the day when they shot the the part when um, he was on top of the tombstone? Like, no, <laughs> I didn't. Until I, I mean, I had read that in the script, <laughs> oh but until I actually saw it, I did, you know what I mean? It was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what I just I just think of that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Honestly, I actually have not seen the movie. <gasps> this is really awkward. <laughs> oh no no! That's, now you can no see, yeah now I'm I mean, gonna see it for it's sure. It's really I mean, out there, you know. It's it is, it's, yeah. but it's it's Keaton keeps calling me out on stuff. I'm so I'm sorry, kidding. but it's, I love MacGruber. <laughs> yeah, no, I love the character on SNL. I love the fact that they pulled it out and made it into a movie, and they it, it was successful because yeah. you know, Ladies Man wasn't successful when they tried right, that. Right. So it was kind of I was skeptical about that whole right. thing. But you know what? You got another uh, movie coming up, Captured, correct? Yeah, I have the film Captured. Um, Brittany Coran, she was on, she was a man of a certain age, she was Ray Romano's daughter, and she's on Twisted now, that new... Uh, CW a show? Yeah, or ABC, ABC Family. Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and Kristen Prout, who was in Twilight and KY... X. What oh, was that Kyle. series? She was the oh, sister in that. Yeah. I'm aging myself. Yeah, this is great. I mean, I was really the older person in this movie mm -hmm. and the creepy groundskeeper. But um, <laughs> it's kind of it's about a rock band who want to go back and film a video at Britney's character's home, and mm -hmm. I was the groundskeeper that knew her as a kid. And anyway, and a lot of you know shit happens when. They yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have one called Model Home, which is. Um, uh, Monique Gabriella Kernan from Half Nelson and, and Kathy Baker. And that's when um, this whole foreclosure happened with houses, you know, instead mm -hmm. of just, they, they actually hire a family to stage. Like, you know how you stage a house, but now they would actually hire a mother and a son to live in the house. <laughs> So it's taking it, but they don't realize the mother's bipolar and crazy, and so oh. all this shit happens with her. Can, can we curse on this show? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, um, and so, yeah, I play a guy, Walker, who gets kind of kidnapped by Monique's character and taken in and held hostage, and I'm, I'm tied up in twine, the whole movie, my teeth, my, my hands. Oh, wow. Talk about two, <laughs> two hours of makeup and, wow. you know, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Were you, like, sore afterwards or, like? Just... Yeah, just sore, and it's amazing what you have to do as an actor when you think, yeah. you know, when you can't really talk right, and you have to do, it's sometimes harder to act, not speaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think I'm better as a mute. Because <laughs> I, did, I did a horror film, Hansel and Gretel, last year, and my character was a mute. He was the killer. And um, actually, when I watched it, I thought, this is my best work. Maybe I should, maybe I should never speak again. Oh. Become a mime. Right. But I just finished The Purge 2, the new... Oh. Did you guys see the first one, The Purge? I can't watch scary movies. Especially The Purge, because that, that, that was, concept... Right. That, it's a brilliant concept. It is a brilliant concept. Yeah. Do you, have you, have you, do you know what the concept of The Purge is? Yeah, isn't that the one where there's no crime? For 12 hours. Yeah. There's yeah. a 12-hour period where it's lawless, you know, everything. There's no 911, no... Yeah. You're basically purging the unwanted yeah. from society, murders or whatever happens. So there's a second one coming? They're shooting, yeah, I just wrapped my part. Oh, I play sweet. a deranged homeless guy, but there is a, <laughs> mm, typecasting. <laughs> I live in a dipsy dumpster. I mean, literally, I was in a dipsy, I, I said it, it was like a little like a little studio apartment in New York. The, the set designer and I were laughing, we're like, you do realize this would be $1,000 in New York. But, um, but yeah, it's th this one takes place more on the streets it's mm -hmm. a much bigger, okay. it's like a $30 million budget. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's Michael, I mean, it's Michael yeah. Bay. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Cool Bay. Where the first one was really low budget, mm -hmm. but it made a shitload of money. So. It's like Paranormal Activity. Same, yeah. direct, was like, same producer, yeah. Jason Blum. Nice. Yeah. First one was super done, super on the cheap, and then right. yeah, the good writing. Although the director was telling me, James was like, you know, Jasper, even though I've got all this money, I still only have 30 days to shoot it. So it's kind of like... You've got the big budget, yeah. but you still have 30 days. Yeah. So it's kind of like cramming they, it all they there. They crank kind of those, those horror movies out like Right. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm looking for This comes out in June. So, I mean, they're they're filming now. They wrap in like two weeks. So oh, that's sweet. a quick so June. post. Look, June. Look for it. Yeah. Purge 2. I know. Yeah. And I want to like, suck it up and not be scared <laughs> to go see you. <laughs> well, this one is more um, cycle. It's more action. It's a lot of action. Okay, cool. Instead of more horror. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can handle yeah. it. Keen's like, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. You can do it, yeah. <laughs> Zach, did you like Friday Night Lights? Did yes. You look, Zach Guilford, who played w one of the lead quarterbacks, I never <gasps> saw it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He stars yeah. in it. I don't know which one. He was more the all-American guy. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And his real-life wife, Keely Sanchez, who's from the, the, the Glades, mm -hmm. she's in it. They're playing a uh, husband and wife in the movie. Aww. <laughs> Aww, isn't that sweet? That's adorable. Cute. Well, yeah. Uh, really quickly, uh, yes. you also have a uh, 
the on set. Oh yeah, I have my own radio, uh, internet radio show on the set with Jasper Cole, which is also live stream. So it's really a, a TV talk show on YouTube, my oh, YouTube sweet. channel. Um, on the set with Jasper Cole and my website jaspercole.com and Twitter is on the set W Jasper and then also Jasper Cole says S A Y S. Sweet. Facebook, all the same. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you we're guys should do... come be on the show. I'd love to have you on oh my radio God, I would, show. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> yeah, it's all entertainment. We just you know cover. Let's I try to have yeah. actors and directors on and stuff. You're an actress. I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that'd there. be great. Let's do it. Yeah. So let's do a really quick <laughs> speed version of uh, predictions, guys. Because. Oh, like Hi, right, super fast. Yes. And now, uh, Jonah you're Hill. After Buzz TV. Jonah Hill is the host next week with Beatus, Beatles, Beatus. I don't know how to pronounce her name. A band I've never heard of. But that's the band. The yeah. Atis. So I think Jonah Hill's gonna own it. He's got it. He's Jonah's on fire. Jonah's been funny before yeah. on there. Yeah. Jonah's gonna kick his kick its ass, and I wonder if he's gonna be able to get Leo DiCaprio to do a cameo mm. or Channing Tatum. From uh, Channing Jump, all over Jump your Street, Tatum. 21, 21 Jump, Jump. Now, 22 Jump Street. Because doing yep. a sequel 22. to that, yeah. yeah. I, I think, think he'll, he'll be good. funny. He's yeah. always funny. Is That's he good. fat again or thin? He In between. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like they're going to, have you seen Wolf of Wall Street? I have, I've got I the screener. Okay. That's the I only one it. I haven't, it's the last one I haven't seen. I know, me too. They're going to definitely probably make a, you'll see it, they're going to make a reference to that Because they're crazy characters, right, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Definitely will probably play off of that. I'm seeing it this week, so I'm glad I'll see it before Sweet. next week. Sweet. Good, because you don't want to get spoiled. God, you know? no. Right. <laughs> so, Jasper, where can we find you? I know you mentioned it earlier, but where can we uh, find you? Yeah, Twitter, uh, on the set, W Jasper, or Jasper Cole says, S-A-Y-S. Facebook, Jasper Cole, I've got like three, pa- I don't know, <laughs> three pages. Um, JasperCole.com, and the, the radio show is on the set with JasperCole.com also. Perfect. Awesome. Keaton? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at KeatonM33, as well as on Instagram, KeatonM33, and Facebook. If uh, you're lucky, I'll friend you back. And maybe she'll poke you. I oh, might poke okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at HeyRoya. That's H-E-Y-R-O-Y-A. Thanks again, guys. And Jasper, thank you so thank much. Thank you so thank much. You, Jasper. This so much fun. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks so much. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.